this video i am going to verify euler's theorem for function z is equal to a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square and again the function x y plus y z plus z x and these problems are for partial differentiation so see here according to the euler's theorem we have x into some dou z by dou x plus y into dou z by dou y is equal to some n z so this is how we have to verify Euler's theorem. So here what is given? Z is given as solution 1. So from the solution 1, what is Z? Z is equal to A x square plus 2 h x y plus B y square. So now I have to make a derivative with respect to x as well as with respect to y. So derivative with respect to x is so simple that dou z by dou x is equal to for x square this is 2x a and for x this is 1 this is 2 h y and with respect to x y will be 0. So this is equation number 1 and next coming to z that is derivative with respect to y see here y with respect to y x will be 0 and here for y it is 1 that is 2 h x and for y square this is 2 y into b and this is equation number 2 now we have to verify euler's theorem for verification of euler's theorem so verification for the verification we have to consider x into this is dou z by dou x plus y into this is dou z by dou y so this is x into what is dou z by dou x this is 2 a x plus 2 h y plus y times of this is dou z by dou y this is 2 h x plus 2 y into b now if i multiply this is 2 a into x square plus 2 h x y and this is 2 h x y plus 2 b y square 2 b y square and these are of uh, like terms that is 2 h x y 2 h x y so this will be see here 2 a x square 2 plus 2 this is 4 h x y plus 2 b y square so if i take 2 common this will be a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square so as you know that a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is nothing but z so this is equal to 2 into z therefore x into this is dou z by dou x plus y into this is dou z by dou y value is equal to 2z hence euler's theorem is verified hence euler's theorem is verified hence euler's theorem is verified and see coming to the next question here what is given we have to verify euler's theorem if f is given as xy plus yz plus zx see here so in this the question is f is given as xy plus yz plus zx this is a solution 2 for the solution 2 we have to verify that x into according to the euler's theorem x into dou f by dou x y into this is dou f by dou y plus z into this is dou f by dou z value is equal to some n into f and let's see what happens here first i have to make a derivative with respect to x see here f is equal to this is x y plus y z plus z x now if i make a derivative with respect to x that is dou f by dou x is equal to for x it is 1 what remains y for x it is 1 z remains and see here and again with respect to y so dou f by dou y so dou f by dou y for y it is 1 x remains for y it is 1 z remains and see here the next thing what we have to do is now we have to make a derivative with respect to z that is dou f by dou z value here is for z this is 1 y remains and z 1 what remains here x remains so now we have to verify the euler's theorem for verification of euler's theorem we are going to use that is x into dou f by dou x plus y into this is dou f by dou y and z into this is dou f by dou z that is x times of what is dou f by dou x dou f by dou x value is nothing but y plus z and plus y times of what is dou f by dou y this is x plus z 
and z times of what is do f by do z this is y plus x this is y plus x now i have to multiply so this value is nothing but xy plus xz and this is xy plus yz if i multiply this is yz and this is xz as you can see that there are two xz here and see yz this is yz and this is again yz and if you see there are like terms here now if i add up all these if i add up all these this will be 2xy plus 2yz and 2zx so if i take two common so if i take two common this will be 2xy plus yz plus this is zx so this value is nothing but see here xy plus yz plus zx zx is nothing but f so this is equal to 2 into f therefore x into this is do f by do x plus y into this is do f by do y plus z into do f by do z value is equal to 2 into f hence euler's theorem is verified so hence euler's theorem is verified so this is how we have to solve this is so simple and thank you so much for watching and staying till the end have a look at my next video too